Melo, I mean, mid-range jump shooter. And now Jimmy Butler wouldn't have fit. And now Westbrook. And don't give me, oh, they played together at OKC. It was fine. They were both totally different at that time. They were up-and-coming players. You had Kevin Durant there as the star, the number one star. And then West, so Westbrook wasn't what he is now. He wasn't the triple-double king at that time. And Harden wasn't close. Harden was coming off the bench. Right. He was a playmate. He's a different player now. He's not giving this up. Now, if you traded Chris Paul for Westbrook, it would be better than if you have Chris Russell well, it's, and it's Harden. Better there, but it still, of, doesn't, it it's, still doesn't fit. It's only better because Chris Paul's health. Because well, I think, actually, they work great I, together. I agree. I think Paul and Harden are a better fit when Paul's healthy. Yeah. But just the, the but I'm saying the three of them together has no chance of working. If it's two of them, then it still wouldn't win you a championship, but it'd be better. But, no, this – and here's the thing, Colin. If Houston – they have let all these leaks out. Yeah. If none of the leaks came out that Chris and James are really at odds and that Daryl Morey was going after Jimmy Butler and we got to make moves, with all that's happened, if people just thought oh, Houston, they didn't get it done this year, but they're st they would be viewed as one of the teams that could win the West. Yeah. But now you might have so many hurt feelings – Chris Paul's, you know, he knows they were interested in moving him. Uh, they were interested in getting Jimmy Butler. So how's Eric Gordon and P.J. Tucker and these Clint Capella feel? So now you have to massage all of that to just get this team to be the best version of itself. I think the best version of itself is one of the top teams in the league. You know, it's funny. I, I last couple of days I've been listening to local radio because I kind of want everybody's feeling here in Los Angeles. If there was a big baseball move when I lived out east, I would listen to Boston or New York local radio. Well, you know, it's very tribal. What do the fans think? And it's funny about it. Everybody now is moving toward the Lakers over the Clippers because of all the pieces they put together. And all the hosts are very much in on the Lakers. Time out. Frank Vogel and Doc Rivers. If right. coaching matters, and I watched Nick Nurse take over a team, and it matters, if coaching matters in this league, I got nothing against Frank Vogel. But the players know he just got fired. Jason Kidd's sitting next to him, peering over his shoulder, and they know it's LeBron's team. Kawhi and Paul George chose the Clippers right. for Doc, thus empowering Doc in the locker room. Like, Doc Rivers was empowered by Kawhi. I'm choosing L.A. because of you. Right. Paul George came out and said, well, we like Doc. Like, I can't get past this. Frank Vogel, you go on a four-game losing streak, there'll be a rumor <laughs> in this city that he's in trouble. Look, I think between the Lakers and the Clippers, it's very close. Now, I, would, I think the Clippers are better. They're the better team right now because, as you said, fit, chemistry, defense, Kawhi and, and Paul George are very coachable, especially for Doc Rivers. They're all bought in. Uh, but the Lakers, I think the Clippers are the best team in the league right now. Yeah. And I have the Lakers as the second best uh, team in the league. Uh, I'm just, I mean, people are acting like they don't have LeBron James and Anthony Davis uh. and a, a, a decent cast around them. Now, here are the things. Ten seconds. Okay. Well, I, I, got, I had ten minutes left. But <laughs> uh, the, the Lakers, they're going to be pretty good. They're second best team uh, in the I'll, league. I'll buy your Clippers one. That, that <laughs> argument I like. Power two next. <laughs>